Now, you did mention staffing's your background. You know it, you breathe it, you love it. It's interesting because you're not an RN. Correct. And you just excel in this space, working in the clinical setting. Can you talk a little bit about how you merge that nursing perspective in with the business in an integrated approach? Sure. About 10 years ago, I got a phone call from the chief nurse executive at my former organization, Claire Zangerly, and she said, you don't know me, but I have uh, a, an interesting offer for you. Would you like to go to dinner? And we went to dinner one night and she presented me with the role of nursing operations. And I thought it was a very visionary idea. And I said, well, I'm not a nurse. And she said, I know you're not a nurse. I'm looking for someone to help infuse business principles with nursing practice and help really have the organization drive purposeful execution around nursing and build that value of nursing, demonstrate that. And so um, at the time, it was a pretty unique position. And I think it's it's grown a little bit over the years. And so when I accepted the role and talked to our chief nurse executive at ECU Health, uh, Trish Bays, about the role, she was very excited because it was a lot of things that you know I had done previously, but also interesting new challenges that I would be able to take on here. And so I really think that the the bottom line is nursing is the largest workforce. Um, and oftentimes people see them as an expense because they don't generate revenue, but really there's such value to the work that nurses do. We needed to find a way to make sure that we are demonstrating that value every day. And so the work that I do has been I think my passion project, because I love to be able to sit with our team members and hear about the challenges that they're experiencing, help them develop new processes to change those, to address those challenges, but then also build that return on investment so Mm -hmm. that the executive team and, and anybody externally can see there was absolutely value in changing the way that we did this based on what our team members were telling us. I mean, I think an example, I talk a lot about staffing, but I do have experience in some other areas. Um, Just last week, I sat down with our folks in infection prevention, our nurses there, and they were telling me about some of the quality challenges that they were having and some new processes they were thinking about developing. And we really combined our expertise and were able to develop a return on investment to implement some new quality Um, procedures. And uh, at that moment, they were very excited. And and I was very excited because we both learned a little bit from each other. And we were able to demonstrate really that there was going to be success in the work that we were planning to do, but also it was beneficial for um, the infection prevention team and the nursing team, but also the organization for giving us really the latitude to, to work together to be able to create that. 